In this video, we will show you how to design a flexible partial denture. Begin with creating the order form and scan the models or import previously scanned files. To learn more about how to do that, please watch our RPD videos. Firstly, select the annotations for the artificial teeth. If any adjustments of the scans are necessary, for example, tooth removal, you can move back to the prepare step to use its toolkit. In the surveying and blocking out step, analyze the model and set the correct insertion direction. Prepare the space for the clasps. Use the wax knife and remove unnecessary material. Click Next. While at the anatomy design step, place the teeth in the correct position. Use all the available tools to do so. After placing the anatomy from the smart tools, use the contact and smoothing tool and adjust the distance from the anatomy to the model. Do this by setting up the parameter and pressing play or play to all to apply it globally for all the teeth. The space gap, however, might not be enough for the acrylic material under the teeth. So what you could do now is to lift the design from the tissue side a little bit higher. Using the ruler, you can define how much space you need for the acrylic material underneath. Click Next to move further and go straight to the major connector substep. Set the thickness for the denture and draw the outline for the denture. Draw the clasps as well, or if you prefer the designed ones, use them from the clasps substep. Now you can use the fast edit option to adjust the whole design. Try to avoid making sharp edges while designing the connector. Now you can go to the further substep and use the sculpt toolkit to add or smooth the area if needed. For example, the gingiva area. Add more material around the artificial teeth to have nice looking gingiva and to keep the teeth within the design. Make sure that there will be enough retention, which makes a good bonding between all teeth and the denture base. Now you can move to the sculpt RPD design substep. Click on the contacts and smoothing option. This option will create the pockets for the artificial teeth. Set the desired value depending on the cementation material, which will be used later, and press the Create Pockets for Teeth button to apply it. To check the results, make the teeth less visible with the help of the visualization slider. Now, go to the pre-manufacturing substep. It is recommended now to remove the stippled wax. From the material menu, in the stippled wax window, choose None. Now, you can save the design and send it for manufacturing. Click Close to save the output result. To check the output files, first you need to generate the CAM output. Do it by right-clicking on the case and choosing this option from the Advanced menu. Now click the case once more and from the Advanced menu choose Explore CAM. Open all the files. All the files are in the SDL file format so the orientation in 3D is different for all of them. You can now send the files for manufacturing. You have now learned how to design flexible partial dentures. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.